What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at FizzBuzz for JavaScript. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at FizzBuzz for JavaScript. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at FizzBuzz in JavaScript. So what is FizzBuzz? Well, whenever you go on coding interviews, they almost always ask you to do little things in order to test how good of a programmer you are. And historically, one of the little things, one of the little games they asked you to do was FizzBuzz. And basically with FizzBuzz, they ask you to print out the numbers between one and 100 onto the screen. And if a number is divisible by three, write the word fizz on the screen. If it's divisible by five, print the word buzz on screen. And if it's divisible by both three and five, print out FizzBuzz. Otherwise, just print out the number. So it's a basic little test. Now, these days, they probably use harder questions in coding interviews because everyone knows FizzBuzz now. But, you know, for a very long time, like 20 years, this was a very common interview question to get uh, going into a basic coding job. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this JavaScript series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic starter code that we've been using for a while now. I'm calling it fizzbuzz.html. And let's come down here and let's think about this. What do we want to do? Well, first, let's just sort of break this down. The first thing we want is to print out all the numbers between 1 and 100. And we know how to do this, probably. We've been working with loops for a while in the last few videos. Check those out if you didn't see them. So let's go let i equal 1. And we want to start at 1 because we want to print the number 1 on the screen. We've been starting at 0 in other videos, but this time we probably want 1. And let's create a while loop, right? So let's go while i is less than or equal to 100. And we can put spaces here if we want. Y less than or equal to because we also want to print out 100 onto the screen. So we need less than or equal to. And then let's come down here and let's just use our document write thing we've been using here for a while. And let's print out i, which is going to be the number. And let's also get a little fancy here. Let's put a period after it and then a line break. And now this is a while loop, so we need to increment our counter. I want to forget that. OK, so let's just go ahead and save this and run it, see if that worked. Head over to our web browser, and I'm in my C JavaScript directory. And let's just click on fizzbuzz.html. And we see 1 through 100 all printed onto the screen. And that looks good. So now we need to determine if a number is divisible by 3, by 5, or by 3 and 5, right? So how could we do that? Well, way back when, we learned about different operators. And one of them is the modulus. And the modulus lets us find a remainder. So if a, a number is divisible by three, it won't have a remainder. The remainder will be zero. Same thing with five. Same thing with three and five. If it's divisible by those numbers, there is no remainder. The modulus returns the remainder. So we can so we can use that. So let's create an if statement. Let's say let if. And let's start out with the three and the five, the fizz buzz. And we learned how to do logic operators several videos ago using uh, the double and sign. So we can go if i modulus 3 equals 0, and if i modulus 5 equals 0, then both of those are divisible by 3 and 5, in which case we want to print out fizzbuzz. Let's print this out. And so we have the number plus, let's go fizzbuzz. And I think we need an exclamation point. <laughs> so, OK, let's go ahead. And then down here, we're going to need an else statement. Else, let's copy this and bring this over. There we go. So we have if this, else that. So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that worked. Hit reload. And we get an infinite loop because we forgot to move our counter outside of the else statement. So, all right, let's, there we go. That should work. Head back over here. Try and hit reload. You probably can't. Yeah, it's crashing. Let's just open another browser. Let's go see JavaScript. Click on fizzbuzz. OK, so here 15 is divisible by both 3 and 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5 with 0 left over. 15 divided by 5 is 3 with 0 left over. So it's divisible by 3 and 5. Same thing with 30. Same thing with 45, 60, 75, 90. And OK, that looks good. So that's the hard one, right? The fizz and the buzz. Now we just need the threes and the fives, the fizzes and the buzzes. So let's go else if. And here we basically just want this guy right here. So let's copy that. 
And inside of here, we can copy this guy. But instead of fizzbuzz, we want it just to say fizz. And then we want another one. So let's go else if again. And this time we want i modulus 5. It's divisible by 5. And then inside of here, we can copy this guy and paste. But of course, instead of fizz, we want this to say buzz. Okay, so go ahead and save this, head back over here. And let's hit reload again. And now three is fizz, five is buzz, six is fizz, because it's divisible by three. Nine is fizz, also divisible by three. 10 is buzz, it's divisible by five. And on and on. And that looks correct, all the way down to 100, which is divisible by buzz, because 100 divided by five is 20 with zero left over. And there we go. So that's FizzBuzz. Now, there are lots of different ways you can do this. You could use a for loop. You could use a do while loop. You could probably think of some ways to get the code down even less. Now, this is not a lot of code, but I'm sure if you thought about it, you could think of a way to, you know, use even less lines of code. So I'll give you that as an assignment. Think this through. Try and find ways to do it a little bit more elegantly. This is just a basic way to do it. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answers as long as it works. So play around with this. Try and think outside the box. And yeah, that's FizzBuzz. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.